What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 144 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Ball series. And on the last episode we went negative for the first time in a week. Not the worst thing, puts us at 229 victories, 200 defeats. So we've got 29 game differential there, let's get underway with Ball in War. Hopefully we will go positive once again today however. That's not a great start. That's definitely not a great start. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, that's very risky, because he could go for the Grass Knot. Hmm, let's go Toxic Crow. Yeah, just went straight up Thunderbolt, and he got the Paralysis. Well, that sucks. And Raichu's going to outspeed basically everything on my team. And three are weak to it. Golem's weak to Grass Knot. Let's go Golem. And let's go for the Sucker Punch. Fair enough. Let's go Victini then. There's a seed flare, it doesn't do anything really. And now let's go for the V crate. That does nothing. Well, I'm not gonna outspeed you. So let's go Gyarados. And the thing I need to do here is I need to Dragon Dance, because I need to outspeed that Raichu. And I'm not going to unless I do another one. Am I? Well, I need to do a Crunch if I'm going to kill that Lugia. Hopefully he thinks I outspeed the Raichu, because I don't. Like, there's the slightest chance that I do. I do! Wow! Because he's not max speed. Wow, that makes a big difference then. I wasn't expecting the outspeed there. Fair enough. Don't know. Well, you did that to do toxic. Let's go for the crunch. Interesting play there. Okay. So now I think we go Articuno. No. Let's go Golem. Let's go for that Sucker Punch, I said. That doomed kill. Two Flare takes me down to Sturdy. And it still should kill. But is my opponent staying in or switching out? They're switching out. That's very risky. Um, staying in or switching out? Staying in. No, switching out. Come on. Oh, he stayed in, but he went for the rest. Goodbye, Azel. And now let's go, we need to go Victini, but I didn't want Magmortar to come out. Let's go Zen Headbutt, see how much it does. There's a flinch, it's handy. Let's 
What item do I have? Assault vest. Final Zen headbutt takes out the Mag Mortar. So they have two left, and one's a Shaman. That's awake now, because of its ability. V create. Oh, Seed Flare does very little. V create will kill. And now, what does my opponent have left? Butterfly. Well, we'll go for another big crate. You do go down, unfarchunately. We have Articuno. Who can come in and go for the Freeze Dry. Take him down at 6%. There's a Quiver Dance. It's a bit unfortunate. But they do have Life Orb. Which means they have to heal before attacking. Which they didn't do, which means they go down. Good game to my opponent, so we'll pick up one victory there. I didn't think we were going to win that after we started with a Gyarados versus a Raichu. And two of our first switch-ins were water type and a flying type. And Raichus are very, com very commonly have grass not to deal with stuff like Golem, which was my perfect switch. Okay, so our Moldo, so it's weak to water. Let's go for Crab Hammer. There's the Luxray. The Crab Hammer still does a great chunk of damage. We actually outspeed. I didn't realise how fast Kingla was. Or is it just that looks where it's quite slow, I guess? Number 87 Dugong. Yes, that is Dugong's number. Um, let's get rid of its item. It goes to Black Sludge. And now... Why can't you have Freeze Dry? Now let's switch into something and take it out. Let's go Dialga. Mainly because it's immune to poison. Does Clersmon get rid of Hazard? It doesn't, does it? And let's go for the Thunderbolt. Not sure why you did that. Oh come on, he lives with one, which means he gets an Alpine split off. No, why did he not go pain split? That was the perfect opportunity to go pain split. Well, there's a focus blast coming my way. Can't do much about that. Let's just go for the Draco. So two at kill if I didn't lose the special attack, which I did. Then let's go raw. Okay. Not the end of the world. Let's go flash cannon now. 3 hit kill. That's the knockoff. Gets rid of my lefties. Unicus comes out. And soaks that up pretty well. Takes me out with Focus Blast. That is perfectly fine. Looking black. And that's not nice. 25% every time I switch out. Let's go for that knockoff. Take other Reuniclus. Now what does my opponent have for me? Because I can take out Armaldo. So it's one of these that's coming out. Okay, it's Armaldo. 
Fair enough. Do you outspeed? No. That was a great play, actually. Let's go crap hammer. There's the executor. And there's the harvest, which sucks. Goodbye, one of your Pokemon. Thank you for showing me your whole team, by the way. It's actually very nice. Um, yeah, I thought dealing with the Exeggutor was the more important thing to do. Let's go for a Toxic. Wow, oh, I was hoping to hit the Diancy there. My opponent drops the forfeit and we pick up our second victory of the day. Let's get on to battle number three when it eventually finds a game. My throat's going a bit, if you can tell. Okay, this is not a good matchup for us. But we should go for the Thunderbolt just to test it out. I think. What's your speed? 248, but that's going to increase. Um... Yeah, let's go for the T-Bolt, just to test it out. Because 3 on main special attacks and not anything to shake a stick at. That's really powerful, actually. Like, 3 on main special attack, comparatively to my other Pokemon. Typhlosion has higher than that. Apart from Typhlosion, everyone else has lower. And Typhlosion only has that much because he has choice specs. Come on, opponent. If my opponent does take, like, the full... What is it? Five minutes to make a move? No, they dropped the forehead. We're not going to count that because no one made a move. Let's get into a third battle that actually progresses past the first turn. If they forfeit on the third turn, then it'll count as well. If they forfeit before move is made, that doesn't count as well. Unless I'm really annoyed that day for some reason. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to record today. Okay, this is a pretty good matchup for us. Assuming we can get a hit off before they attack, which we shouldn't be able to. What do we have to switch in? Not much. Something like this would be really good to run with a choice scarf to take out stuff like Mega Gardevoir, because it's not expecting it. Okay, I die because you went for the correct move. Well done. Um, let's go probably. Because that's likely to generate a switch because of the fake out. Okay, it didn't. Interesting. Because I still outspeed. And I'm pretty sure return will kill. It does. Okay, I question that as much as I question myself for keeping Ariados out. But losing an Ariados that doesn't have Sticky Web isn't as major a loss as losing a Mega Guard of Wise. 
So I'm not sure what why they let it go down. Because it was obvious Perugli's moveset isn't that like random. They all have fake out, they all have return. When he saw that fake out did 30%, he should have switched out. Um, let me get rid of your item. Your life orb. There's a sword stance. That really sucks. I don't like that in the slightest. Let's see how much a return actually does. About 20%. It's not the worst. We do go down, that's fine though. Um... Well, we'll have to go Amolga. And T-Bolt will do more. We could go Encore. <coughs> Apologies. T-Bolt doesn't kill, we should have went Encore. You went Megahorn anyway. Seems a bit strange now. I should technically go Air Slash because he could switch out, but if he switches out into a Rock Ground type, then it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because it would have been resisted. It would have resisted Air Slash as well. Okay, good switch. Let's go out into Chestnut here. Well, of course you chose Hidden Power Ice. Of course. Are you slower than me? Yes, you are. Um, let's go Leech Seed. We go down, that's fine. I'm guessing choice specs. No, oh, Life Orb. Right. Fair enough. Let's go for the Encore. Actually, yeah, I could see him switching out. But let's go for the Encore anyway. He does switch out. In the Sharpedo. That sucks. Let's go Dazzling Gleam. Protect, I'm guessing? And it's regular Sharpedo, so we can expect the speed boost a lot. But we take him out anyway. So that's fine. Mr. Mime is very powerful. It's just as quite low speed is the main reason people don't use it. Um, do I go a Molga and try and get air slashes or do I nasty plan and then go for a side shark? Can I live one hit? I can. When I outspeed regularly. So if he goes for a quiver I'm thinking. No, he goes Fiery Dance. Okay. He doesn't get the boost either, which is awesome. Now let's go Psyshock. Almost take him out. Bug Buzz doesn't do that much. And we should be able to take him out this turn with the Nala Psyshock. Well, we will be able to, unless he switches, which he does not. We get some health back there. And we know we outspeed Ampharos. What is his last Pokemon? Love Disc. Does that more physical or more special defense? I think it's going to take me out either way. We will go for the Psy Shark. Ooh, it actually outspeeds me. Ooh, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. If I'm perfectly honest, forgot Love Disc was so quick. That almost takes him out, but it doesn't quite. So let's go for the another Dazzling Gleam. I was kind of expecting him to be quicker. Oh, to be slower. But I forgot Love Disc's only redeeming quality is its speed. And then it's not that fast, it's what, base 110? Something like that? It might be base 120. But I think I, I think it's surprisingly slow when you consider that it speeds its only good thing about it. 
Let's go for Dozen Gleam because he is physically bulkier. Takes us out, that's fine. Because now, what's your speed? What's oh, above 91, I know that. Because now a T-Bolt should take it out. And my opponent forfeits, so we get three victories today. That's going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. I have a lot of content coming next week. This week, it's just going to be the same as it's been for the last couple, where it's just going to be Pokemon Showdown Battle and a Europe Universalis 4 video on the weekdays, and then just... On Saturday, we'll just have a Pokemon Showdown video, but that's because this week I am using to get ahead on all of my videos. So I'm going to be recording like three weeks worth of Europe Universalis 4, three weeks worth of Showdown Battles. I'm going to start um, two or three new series on my channel. So look forward to all that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so all of that content will come to your inbox or your subscription box when it comes out. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.